I first encountered Harvey in his studio in Brooklyn and I felt like I had uncovered this buried treasure. We spent hours looking at the work and it wasn't just the old paintings that were four decades old, it was the stuff that was on his easel that was still wet. He touches this deep emotional part of people. And I felt that he was someone who's been marginalized or overlooked for years. The house I grew up in, in the heart of Brooklyn, had absolutely no art on the walls. So in retrospect, it's kind of remarkable that I became an artist. I guess I was lucky because I grew up in New York City when the subway was a nickel and really had an opportunity to explore marvelous museums and great painters of the past. I found traditions there that were so much more meaningful to me than uh, what was being offered in the contemporary art world. As his gallerist, one of the things that continues to amaze me is how broad-reaching and appealing his work is. And it's that painstaking sketching on the subway day in and day out. Or the way he uses models to carefully capture every pose. And it's that that we don't see, you sense it. And I think that's what makes the difference between a classical artist who really will stand the test of time. Why do I represent myself in so many of the paintings? It's not really ego. Perhaps there is a small element of that. But it's my strong sense of the personal element of the work and the artist as witness. I feel strongly about this. I'm not just rendering of the scene. I'm there. The book is a retrospective view of my work. Here I am, 80 years old, so it's a, I mean, it's a long view looking back. And there are some things that I was aware of along the way, of one image leading to another, and there are other connections that are unexpected. You sense that human empathetic quality in his work. And I think this title of the book is not an accident. Underground Together is what he's been trying to capture, this sense of togetherness.